my first thought was star test. Um, after spring break, we literally had three weeks and then we were going to take the first round of star test. So that was like first on my mind when I heard that school was canceled for two weeks that was just like my first immediate thought oh my god if we cancel for two weeks and then we go back that leaves me with one week to review as many texts as I can in that one week so my first thought was pan like my first immediate reaction was panic I was really panicked um like the first couple of days then once I heard that the governor um waive the star test for this year then my reaction after that was how many of my students actually have a device and internet access to be able to do online work um but yeah those were pretty much those were like my first two thoughts star test and internet out you know being a go-getter and I was like I'm gonna give them one activity for writing one for reading and one for social studies every single day um, and I did that for about a week and a half and I quickly realized that out of 37 students that I teach maybe two were, keep, were keeping up with all the assignments and the remaining could not keep up with them um, and with social studies, if you can't keep up with it, then, you know, they're going to be confused because, you know, it was a new section every single day. Um, so I, I, you know, after that week and a half, I said, oh, no, we can't continue with this. So the accommodations that I had to make was now I only do one activity per day. And sometimes it's social studies, sometimes it's reading, and, and sometimes it's writing. It just depends on, you know, what I feel we need practice with for that week. So that's that's the big accommodation that I've had to make, um, you know, going from really trying to teach all the subjects every single day to now I'm just like, no, we just need one activity. Um, the biggest challenge is student participation. Out of the 37 kids, I maybe have 10 to 12 that participate every single week. Um, and the participation is limited. It's not like, oh my God, they're doing every single activity um, on the assigned day and turn it in at the assigned time. No, um, they will, you know, sometimes turn in work on Sunday at 12 o'clock um, or parents are texting me pictures of uh, evidence of their work on a Saturday at 10 o'clock, you know, at 10 p.m. So it's just, it's, just been that's been the biggest challenge kids not keeping up with the with the um, activities and uh, just them turning them in at random times.